Hello people, this nitrates na, very very important for exam. First see where exactly we are, okay, we are in the anti-anginal and anti-ischemic drugs chapter. We have already covered what angina is, types of angina, when it happens, how do you treat it, what are the drugs available, in that we are here, nitrates, okay. So nitrates, <coughs> you have short acting, long acting. You have glycerol trinitrate, isosorbide dinitrate and isosorbide mononitrate. Isosorbide dinitrate can be given sublingually or orally. If it is given sublingually, it is short acting. Actually, sub, uh, yeah, okay. And isosorbide dinitrate, if it is given orally, it's long acting. However, I think uh, essential drug list has only isosorbide dinitrate sublingual tablets. And even isosorbide mononitrate sublingual tablets are available. Glycerol trinate also sublingual tablets are available and injections are available okay now how nitrates act uh, whatever we know so far just let's take a recap they act on blood vessels and they release nitric oxide which dilates the uh, vessel so they relax the smooth muscle and uh, they dilates the uh, vessels so there will be pooling of the blood in the <coughs> vascular area so the veins will have the blood and the venous return to the heart will become less. So the preload on the heart will reduce and some amount of afterload also will reduce because of arterial dilatation. Okay. So did you understand this much? So nitrates usually are combined with lot of drugs uh, in this group. And uh, you can know all those combinations we will come to. Another thing you should know about nitrates is it is not given with the... Um, uh, Viagra. So, if a person is taking Viagra, he should not be taking nitrates as both of them will do vasodilation and the person can go into low BP. Okay, and it can be fatal also. So, let us start off with uh, nitrates now. So, nitrates like we said, the glycerol trinitrate. These two images are depicting glycerol trinitrate. This one is isosorbide dinitrate syndicating and this one isosorbide mononitrate. So, first of all, what you should know uh, glycerol trinitrate injection is available here. Glycerol trinitrate uh, sublingual, it can be given. This is actually in the form of a spray. These are all uh, sublingual tablets. Okay, isosorbide mononitrate, isosorbide dinitrate. Okay, if you actually look at essential drug list, isosorbide dinitrate 10 mg, isosorbide mononitrate 10 mg tablets are available. Then you have. <coughs> Glycerol trinitrate tablets sublingual and you have glycerol trinitrate injection nitroglycerin it is called 5 mg okay so shall we move on <clears throat> so in this video we have to cover the mechanism of actions of nitrates okay this all is mechanism of action only then we have to look at the pharmacokinetics of uh, nitrate, adverse drug reactions of nitrate and uh, interactions of nitrate. Okay, shall we uh, get started guys? So mechanism of action first let's look at. Okay, so how it works? Preload reduction, we already told you how it does preload reduction. Then afterload also some amount it will reduce because of arterial dilatation. Preload is mainly because of venous dilatation and uh, less venous uh, return to the heart. Then third point they have mentioned here is redistribution of coronary flow. Then uh, exact mechanism of relief for angina has been mentioned. Then heart and peripheral blood flow. We have to look at that point and other smooth muscles. Okay. So first let us look at these two points. <clears throat> nitrate what it does. It will release nitric oxide. This will stimulate the guanylyl cyclase, okay, increased C, 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 GMP. Okay, let us see, look at the diagram, it's better if you look at the diagram. <coughs> this one from Schoenbach textbook, so nitrates, they get denitrated in smooth muscle cell, they release nitric oxide. They stimulate the guanylyl cyclase, they increased C, GMP. So there is dephosphorylation of myosin light chain, light chain kinase, MLCK. Decrease uh, calcium concentration in the cytosol, relaxation of the vascular smooth muscle fibers leading to vasodilation, leading to pooling of the blood in veins and decreased venous return. So did you understand this much? 
basically what did you understand nitrates they get denitrated in smooth muscle cell of the blood vessels there they'll release nitric oxide this nitric oxide will stimulate the guanylyl cyclase increased cgmp which will dephosphorylation of what will happen dephosphorylation of the myosin light chain kinase mlck happens <clears throat> mlck dephosphorylation and then decrease in the calcium concentration calcium will reduce and there will be relaxation of the smooth muscle fibers of the blood vessel vasodilation venous pooling of blood decreased venous return to the heart that same diagram explained in another textbook kd tripathi look at this nitrodilators they release nitric oxide this is the guanylyl cyclase so it is stimulated so there is increased cgmp because of which the mlck gets dephosphorylated so it is remaining dephosphorylated so there is no contraction look at this for the normal contraction you need mlck to get phosphorylated which will convert the myosin light chain into myosin light chain again phosphorylated plus actin it will release it will lead to contraction now this phosphorylation cannot happen hence contraction cannot happen so did you understand this if you draw this diagram you will get lot of marks please pause this video practice this diagram because this is a sure shot uh, question for you in the exam so if you can read this it is very good let us see how our friend will tell this explain this okay so the nitrates um, they will release nitric oxide which will stimulate the guanylyl cyclase and there will be increased cgmp so the cgmp will not allow the mlck to get phosphorylated uh, if mlck is phosphorylated it will convert the myosin into um my my uh, it will lead to myosin plus actin and contraction so this step will not be allowed by the cgmp cgmp also does one more thing it will inhibit the calcium channel so calcium cannot enter as calcium cannot enter there can be no calcium calmodulin and hence there can be no contraction okay so two things it is doing what are nitrates doing two things it is um, blocking calcium channel and also it is so it is doing two two things it is dephosphorylating myosin light chain kinase okay two things it's doing guys what you should know here it does not work on the heart right it works only on the vascular system so right here no action on heart okay vaso dilation by smooth muscle relaxation okay other effect it has is other smooth muscles also will relax like bronchi esophagus biliary tract etc okay so other smooth muscles also will relax so we are not concerned that much about that at this moment okay all this you will explain no nitric oxide and all that hold on one more diagram from shanbach textbook let's try to understand this veno dilation arterio dilation why there is more veno dilation let's see if they have tried to explain peripheral pooling of blood decreased venous return to heart decreased preload decreased left and right or in diastolic ventricular volume like decreased cardiac work decreased oxygen requirement to myocardium oxygen demand is reduced arteriolar arteriolar dilatation decreased uh, peripheral resistance right decreased afterload dilatation of large coronary vessels and collateral vessels increased blood flow to ischemic area due to redistribution of coronary blood flow increased oxygen delivery to ischemic area 
uh, so they have explained almost everything this is decrease of pre uh, preload this is decrease of afterload and this one is redistribution of the blood in coronary vessels so let's go back and see so this much we understood preload reduction afterload reduction dis redistribution of coronary flow that is nothing but it will again do vasodilation in coronary arteries again blood will supply blood supply to myocardium will increase mechanism of relief and relief in angina same thing heart and peripheral blood flow peripheral resistance will come down other smooth muscles we saw bronchus when biliary tract esophagus they will also relax okay so i think this much is enough for now this diagram you have to practice guys very important and if you want you can learn some flow charts also this one it's nice right if you want you can learn this so in the next video let's meet and discuss the pharmacokinetics of nitrates okay